Tommy, I would like to ask you something. For me, Steve Butler is like four guys in one body. Was it a really hard part to take, considering that you have to go through all these emotions? Um, no, it, it wasn't a, well, it's not an easy role to play. Uh, the fact that he was a, a composite of four characters uh, presented no problem because the entire character was on the pages of Oliver's screenplay. So I'm only dealing with one character, and that's the character that comes off of his page. Uh, were you in Vietnam, I mean, uh, when you were 20? No. You were never part of it. You were only exposed to the Vietnam War here in yes. television. So that, yeah, the way you approach your character was really, really great. I really liked it. Uh, how was for you working with a newcomer like like uh, Hex? Because you have several scenes which are in a very intense relationship when you come to New York. Well, yeah, it was a, a lot of fun to work with him. Uh, what about do you do you think that uh, Steve Butler represents what the impact of the Vietnam War, the impact of the Vietnam War in American soldiers? No, I don't want to say that Steve is a symbol of anything or that he represents uh, all soldiers. Uh, he's not a universal soldier. He's an individual. He's a person, you know. So I don't, I don't like to think of characters in terms of being symbolic or representative. Um, you hope, on the other hand, that people will uh, be able to identify with the character. Uh, uh, that's uh, your res first responsibility. So you can say that you hope people identify with the character uh, and, and that they know people that had similar experiences, but at the same time you have to be very careful uh, not to say that this character is a symbol. Right. But it, no, I, w I meant uh, symbolic because in a way I didn't think of Tommy Lee Jones while I was watching the film. Thank you very much. I was thinking of Steve Butler. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I, that's, I take that as a courtesy. Yeah. Uh, tell us, uh, what about working with Oliver once again after the film? No, it's, um, well, I've, we've, I've, done, I've worked for Oliver three times, and uh, I've had a, uh, a good experience every time. You seem to be all over the place. Are you satisfied with your career? Oh, not entirely, no. What would you like to do to feel better in terms of professional role? I'd like to be a better actor. Do you have any kind of dream role? No. How was for you being on that's, that's no way to get better. <laughs> <laughs> How was for you being on a location in Thailand for such a long time? I loved it. I had a great time. I read it was a very intense uh, production. Yeah, the days were long. Everybody was working very hard. Everybody cared a lot about what they were doing. You could say it's intense, yeah. What kind of scripts are you getting lately? All kinds. All kinds. Are you being picky with what you choose? Or? Well, I'm being as, uh, you know, d uh, trying to use as much discretion as I can. I try not to be too picky, but um, you also try to be, um, uh, you know, you, you, ba I mean, you basically you take, the, you, know, you take the best of what's offered, I guess. I think that's what Mr. M McQueen used to say. Do you feel comfortable with the uh, Hollywood publicity mission? I think you don't, but I'm not. Yeah, of course I do. Um, some, some publicity machines are more comfortable than others. The, w the machine of which we are now a small part today, here and now, is a very good one. And it's run by friends. I, I know everybody on the, in this hotel today, <laughs> honestly. And, and it, uh, uh, so th this, is, uh, this, th this is easy.